is a hot day here at Vanderbilt, but luckily the university has set up tents like this that have cool misters in them to keep Vandy students, parents, and staffers alike cool in the hot heat of Nashville. Ugh, good thinking, guys. Continue keeping it cool and continue keeping it real with me, Michelle Smoller. You're watching Moving Day 2006. Stay tuned. You're keeping it real with me, Michelle Smoller, and we're here with Dun 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 Rocky from Chi Town, and we're here with his cousin and David. Thank you, and Selma. Selma. And here's his mom here. Oh, excellent! And here comes Rocky's mother down the stairs. As you can see, the unloading process has been an all-day affair here. And you're surrounded by all of you know your belongings here. Yeah. Now that you're all here, um, what do you what have you been experiencing thus far? Moving everything in, how's it going? It's going all right so far. I just found my room, got my key, so lots of load my stuff in. Cool. So and we had brownies as we pulled in. Nice hospitality here. Yeah, <laughs> that's what Vanderbilt's all about. You know, welcome to the south. You're keeping it real with me, Michelle Smoller, and we are here with the Triple J Lika family. Joanne, Jody, and? Jeff. Jeff, excellent. Um, now you're from Texas, right? San Antonio. Beautiful, well, you know, you have certainly hooked up your room very nicely <laughs> in freshman move-in day. Looks great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did you request to have a single here at Vanderbilt? I actually requested a double, but I've got to know some of the girls in the hall, so I think it'll be really fun here. Mm -hmm. For you, how did you decide that Vanderbilt was a school for you? Well, I'm gonna study engineering, and so I went to the program and really liked it. That's great. And for you as parents, what do you feel about Vanderbilt? Great education, uh, words of advice, mm -hmm. work hard, and have fun. That's good advice. For you personally, you're pursuing engineering here, but outside of the classroom, what do you hope to get out of Vandy life? Uh, um, I really want to look into the rec center and do some classes, maybe intramurals too, mm -hmm. um, and just get to know the people and um, look into the groups, because I really don't know. Yeah, there's a lot to learn, you know, as a freshman. There's so many different opportunities that you just have to find your niche and kind of stick to it. If you could tell the Vanderbilt viewing audience a little tidbit about yourself, what would it be, Jody? Um, I really like to run. To run? Yes. Excellent. So we hope to run into Jody on campus sometime soon. <laughs> and um, we know that you'll be running across our minds as you continue watching Keeping It Real with me, Michelle Smaller. Right now, we are here with Jeremy. Now, Jeremy, you're a freshman who lives in ranking. And, um... Right. That's right. And you're from Nashville, right? Yeah. So for you coming here to Vanderbilt, must have been like leaving home to move down the street, huh? Yeah, I was thinking about maybe like driving to Atlanta in you know, four hours. Just for fun. Back. Yeah, so it <laughs> seemed like I was going somewhere, but yeah. Um, no, it's, you definitely have to like make that barrier. Because mm -hmm. um, like I love Nashville, I love getting out, and, like showing people all these different places, but um, definitely not going to be going home. I told my parents that they had to make like a two, you know, a two month reservation if they want to come see me, so. Yes, and you're, <laughs> did you also tell them that they have to pay hotel prices to get in the door as well? Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just be like, sorry, visitor, mom, dad. Visitor fees. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, if you could tell some of the Vanderbilt freshmen who are from all over the world something about Nashville that makes it unique and that they should definitely check out when um, moving here and going to Vanderbilt, what would you tell them? Well, I mean, I think it's obvious. Like, country music is huge here, you know? It's country music USA. So definitely... Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> Do you like that air guitar? Okay, let's continue. Yeah, so definitely go downtown. Like, um, down Broadway, there's lots of great, like, you know, karaoke, you know, there's Wild Horse Saloon, there's, there's many different places. And the great thing about Nashville is that people are so nice. You have the, the great, like, southern hospitality, which a lot of, like, New Yorkers aren't used to. So um, it's, it's nice to have that. Like, people freak out sometimes when I open the door for them. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, for you, if you could let the Vanderbilt viewing audience out there know one thing about you, Jeremy, what would it be? Um, I just love being with people. I love hanging out with people. I love helping people. So, uh, opening the doors visit. for people? Yeah, opening the doors for people, you know? <laughs> yeah. And everything, so. So you all come back now, you hear? That's right. You're keeping it real with me, Michelle Smoller. And right now we are here with Alex, who is a freshman here in Ranky. By the way, let the Vanderbilt viewing audience know that they were just watching one of the key clips of all time, the Saturday Night Live More Cowbell Routine. <laughs> An epic classic. Well done, Alex. Well done. For you now, Alex, what made you decide that Vanderbilt would be the place for you? Well, I've always wanted to come here 
and when I was accepted. That was pretty you much knew. it. That's wonderful. We think this is the right place. Mm -hmm. And we think he can excel here and do very well. And that's what we're looking forward to. If you wanted to tell some the people at Vanderbilt out there something about yourself, because I know that you've wanted to come here for so long, what would you want the people to know? Do you like to play music? Do you like to play yeah. the guitar and the piano? Oh, you play the guitar and the piano. Yeah, and the trumpet. And the trumpet. So pretty much your one-man band up in here. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the what horn? Flugelhorn. The flugelhorn. Yeah. I believe that you're the first flugelhorn player that I know of. <laughs> Frankly, I don't even know if I know what a flugelhorn is. <laughs> you're keeping it real with me, Michelle Smoller. Up next is some exclusive footage of the Founders Walk 2006. Hear the bells calling and stay tuned. Thanks, Mandy. We're here in front of Wilson Hall, where the Founders Walk of 2006 culminates with a speech made by Chancellor Gordon Gee. You're keeping it real with me, Michelle Smoller. Keep watching. time in the history of Vanderbilt University, Vanderbilt's Founders Walk and Freshman Moving Day correlated. Incoming freshmen and their families were welcomed by many of the campus organizations on the very same day that students moved into their dormitories. Founders Walk marked the end of Freshman Moving Day 2006. Chancellor Gee greeted the Vanderbilt class of 2010, saying, and you will learn things at Vanderbilt which will blow your mind. I hope you look forward to that experience. For universities are not supposed to make any sense. We are supposed to stretch the alphabet. Take joy in that and do it with your whole heart. Each year, freshman students learn about the qualities that are valued here at Vanderbilt, including those are scholarship, honesty, civility, accountability, caring, discovery, and celebration. So welcome to our home, welcome to this place, welcome to this moment in our life, and welcome to a world that awaits you to discover it. If you're excited to be here, you have every reason to be, and rightly so. Why, hello, Vanderbilt. Thanks a lot for keeping it real with me, Michelle Smoller. Today, you've seen exclusive footage of the Freshman Move-In Day 2006. Hope that you've enjoyed some of the freshmen that you've had the opportunity of meeting through me, and that uh, you had a great time remembering the fond days when you, too, were once a freshman. Thanks for watching. You've been keeping it real with me, Michelle Smoller. Everybody's got a story to tell. What's yours?